over everything and we kind of organized everything and just finalized what was going to be um, served on Sunday. He is so calm. He is he's very humble, he's very calm, um, which is nice because when you're a student and for me, I, I don't have um, any restaurant experience and he just, he's there every step of the way. If you have any questions, he's there, the team is there. And everyone is just behind you and wants to see you succeed. So um, it's really nice working with somebody that wants to give back to students. He was a student at CCA, and the fact that he's taking the time out of his busy schedule to give back to the students just like he was, I think it's absolutely incredible. And it's really, and I've said this a million times, it's a really an opportunity of a lifetime for a student. So I think all five of us feel really fortunate. Hi, good what evening. Do you have in front of you on the rest of your meal? So what we're starting off with is a caramelized sea scallop with a spicy citrus gastrique, garnished with taroko oranges, beet crisps, and a jalapeno slice. And then after that, we're going to have a Mediterranean um, sea bass with um, a sweet corn foam, basil crispy rice, um, lemon rapini, and tomato, tomato confit. And then to end the evening, we're gonna have a vanilla bean panna cotta with a hibiscus and strawberry consomme, a pistachio twill, and um, strawberry dust. big sweet tooth so I really really enjoyed her dessert. The uh, vanilla panna cotta with the consomme of hibiscus and strawberry and she made a rhubarb sorbet to go with it which I was really impressed by because it's, a, it's an ingredient that I think gets overlooked a lot and it's just got a tremendous flavor and a lot of people just have no idea what to do with it so I, I was impressed by what she decided to do with it. Ashley did great with her appetizer. Her fish was wonderfully done, very crispy skin, um, and I thought she just had really nice components that matched well. The food and the wine pairing that she did for that first course was phenomenal. I think she knocked it out of the water with the, with the first dish, the caramelized scallops. The way she put them on the plate looked like a lot of food and it was really satisfying. I was blown away by the first course. The combination of the citrus with the heat from the pepper was fantastic. There's the jalapeno on the dish small little slice, but obviously she did something else in the scallops that infused them with this nice heat. And it's a very mild heat, just enough not to, you know, burn your mouth, but just a nice, nice, beautiful cake. That was just the wow factor. Yeah. That just, you will always remember being amazing. And yeah. Ashley, that sauce was killing me. Yeah. <laughs> it just means that was really just great. Awesome. Nothing else was bad. No, everything just else that was yeah. so good. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just really impressed. Uh, I didn't expect that from a student and certainly speaks highly of the school. Yeah, I think the entire table was blown away at the level. I mean, we weren't expecting this level of, of food, this quality of food, the preparation, the technique, the plating, the presentation was beautiful. Um, I, I used to actually come to Luce quite a bit um, and it very much it's reminiscent of plating and the style. Very much in line with like, what I think Luce has in mind. The hotel went so far above and beyond what they had to do with this event. It's such a unique event that can make such a difference in so many people's lives. You are constantly evolving and growing as, um, as a chef and your our culinary points of views are evolving all the time. You got to give it to Chef Daniel. He's really empowered these students and he's all about farm to table ingredients and we're in the best place for that. The great thing about being in San Francisco is that the chefs here really value raw and new talent. And um, if you talk to the bigger chefs, they will always say, the new chefs inspire us.